Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew and today we're doing another episode of Collecting with Matthew. A series where I, Matthew, who has 8 years of experience with collecting Godzilla figures, teaches you some tips, advice, and tricks on collecting your favorite kaiju figures. Now, that being said, we are going to be talking about getting the most out of your money. Specifically, bank out of your buck. You probably have heard that phrase thrown around before. But for those who don't, let me just briefly describe what it means. Basically, to get the most out of your money or to buy the large sum of quantity of what you can afford, if that makes any sense. Needless to say, this also taps into quantity versus quality, and in my opinion, it's all about the balance. I feel like there are some figures out there that lean too far towards one side and some figures that lean far towards the other side. Examples, Playmates. I know they're mass produced, and there's probably like thousands per unit that are probably being made per day, but I definitely do think that, you know, this doesn't really apply to some figures as Gorosaurus and Rodan are pretty spectacular and do provide the quantity and quality mix pretty well, but there are other figures out there that I feel like could be tightened up a little bit better. Um, basically what I'm talking about is, uh, figures like the GVK figures, some of them. Because I feel like some of them are much better than others, we'll just say. That being said, these are two figures that I think are the best bank for your buck. The Mezco and the NECAs. What do I mean by this? Well, let's go over the NECA. The NECA has a very one-note trick up its sleeve. Basically... Godzilla figures are known to be 6 inches, and people love articulated figures. They will eat this stuff up. And this is exactly what the NECA figures are. In fact, they are so well known, and in my opinion are the perfect balance, because at only $20, $30 on the aftermarket, yeah, you can't really go wrong with this. This really is like a perfect balance. You get a really nice sculpture, um, opinions will mix. You have night great paint, nine times out of ten will be perfect, practically. Articulation, pretty much on par with a monster arts figure, and in some ways actually better than a monster arts figure, because it one doesn't pop off and two doesn't break so easily. And uh, even though it's debatable if you know some of them can't come with accessories because some of them do feature like a blast effect or something, and others don't, overall for 20 bucks at retail, this was pretty great for what it was when it was during uh, its release, you know. The Mezcos take a bit of a different approach. See, they strive more on the quantity side, but they still keep the quality of set. What I mean by this is, here we have a Godzilla figure, right? Looks normal, looks great. This is the 68 from Destroy All Monsters. But each figure that comes in the set is guaranteed at least one accessory, i.e. the bases, or a different type of accessory. It's not the same with all of them, but all of them have some form of accessory. Let's talk about Godzilla's in particular. Godzilla, he has his main body, he has the atomic breath part, or the heat ray as it's now called, he has an alternate head, which if memory serves correctly, this is the alternate head. They can just simply pop off this one and put on this one, and you have alternate hands that are a bit more normal looking, quote unquote, that aren't like him flailing them up in the air. But you also get that, and you also get a brute base. So you get a atomic red pawn. Let's actually just carefully put this all apart. I'm not editing this video, because I'm doing this all in one take. Um, you get one heat ray effect, two alternate heads to choose from, four arms, and one base. That's eight accessories for a figure that's only like this size. And in terms of like the price within itself, the whole set is like 20, oh, sorry, 20, $85 on Mezco's website. But if they were sold individually, this guy would probably be like around $20, $30 on its own, which is about of his price. But keep in mind, he does not come with accessories. He comes with all of this. So, I will say in terms of, like, quality, he has the advantage. 
but he has the quantity. But still, both of them are perfectly balanced at just that price. So realistically, it's all up to you. Which figures do you think have the best quantity and quality balance? These two have, while they do lean on one side, they're perfectly balanced in my opinion. Perfectly. But yeah, with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys liked it, definitely subscribe to the channel. Jesus loves you. God bless you all. Go out there and spread the gospel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.